Hello everyone, welcome to Maths IEC. Today we are going to discuss about a common uh, GCSE exam style question, GCSE and IGCSE exam style question on electricity. Please pause the video and give it a try. When you are ready for the answer, press play. A learner assembled the electrical circuit shown in the diagram below. We can see there is a 15 volt battery, ammeter, resistor X, 70 ohm uh, resistor and a 50 ohm resistor and there is a uh, switch connected in parallel with the 70 ohm resistor which is in the open position as of now. Part A. The ammeter shows a current of 0 0.1 amps. Okay. So we know the current should come out from the positive and the ammeter reading is 0 0.1 amps. 0 0.1 0.1, same current through this, 0.1, and back to the starting point. Okay. Calculate the voltage drop across the 50 ohm resistor. Oh, so all we need to do is simply write V is equal to IR. V is equal to 0.1 multiplied by 50. 50 times 0.1 is 5 volts. Part B. Determine the resistance of the component marked X. Okay, so what is the resistance of this one? Now to do that, we need to find the resistance of the whole circuit. So let's write V equals IR for the whole circuit. Voltage of the whole circuit, uh, the EMF is 15. The current is 0 0.1. We need to find the total resistance. Let's call it RT. Now, I have to divide both sides by 0 0.1. The two 0 points, one on the left-hand side gets cancelled out. The total resistance of the circuit is 15 divided by 0 0.1, 150 ohms. Now, what are the resistors we have? We have this 70. We have this 50 and we have R. So I know all of them add up to 150. So R add 70 add 50 ohms add up to 150 ohms. So R must be 70 add 50 is 120. 150 ohms take away 120 ohms. So the answer is 30 ohms. Last part. Explain how closing the switch affects the overall resistance in the circuit and the total current flowing. Now, previously the path of the current was through this one and it went through this, through the resistor, through the 70 ohm resistor and then through the 50 ohm back to the power supply. When you close the switch, so this is closed now, so the current will start to go from here, like before, it will go through this, the current will come through this, now at this junction, current has two options, the options are, it can either go through the 70 ohm resistor, or it can go through this resistance free path where the resistance is zero now current always does that because there's zero resistance so current will all of the current will completely go through this and no current will flow through the 70 ohm resistor now we call this kind of a like a circuit we call it a short circuit it's a short circuit short circuiting is when you connect two points uh, in a circuit using a resistance free path so the current will all take that route. Now what will happen to the total resistance of the circuit? We have the 50 ohm because current goes to that. We have this 30 ohm because current goes to that but this 70 ohm does not exist anymore as a part of the circuit. So for two marks for this last question we can say the total resistance will decrease due to the short circuit. That's one mark. 
the total current will increase due to low resistance according to V is equal to IR. That's the second mark. Now, you don't really need to show this for this question, but let me just elaborate a little bit. V is equal to IR. Now, if you want to find the new current, I is V over R. Now, the EMF is still 15 volts. That doesn't change. Now, what's the new total resistance? It's 50 at 30, which is 80. So you can see the new current now is 50 divided by 80, which is 0 0.1875. So let's call it 0 0.19 amps. Now, compare this with the previous value. This is 0 0.19 amps now. It was 0 0.10. So definitely the current has increased. So this is just to uh, get the understanding that it increases, but you do not really need the calculation for a, for this question because they're not asking it. Uh, they're just asking you to qualitatively explain it. So just putting these two points will get you full marks.